Hello guys! For today's video, we are going to Wang Tai Liao Sandbar Trail. So guys, kasi nag-ano ako ng sasakay sa boat about sa history. Tapos sa boat doon may historical na marami mapapakinggan about sa, sa district, sa Chico district, gano'n. So, sa babayaran mo doon, pwede kang kumain ng na grilled na oyster sauce. So, let's try it guys. Andito na rin tayo. Ayan. Sampol. O, ayan. Kumakain sila. So, kakainin tayo. Sama ko. Tapos pupunta tayo sa lake at kaila, parang siyang tour, tapos parang siyang man-made lake, tapos parang siyang tour na uh, may mag-explain na tour guide about the Chico, Chico District, how to say it? Oh, basta yun na yun. <laughs> so, yan guys, ang dami namin. Wang Tai Liao Sandbar Trail, which can only be reached by boat. It's the national park trail that can experience the unique landscape of sandbar and lagoon in the country. Konting kaalaman mga beshi kung bakit kailangan magsuot ng life vest ang kada pasahero bago mag-onboard sa boat. First is for safety reason. Second is yun ang gawing palatandaan ng boat personnel para malaman kung nakabalik ang lahat sa boat bago umalis sa isla. Dahil bago bumaba ang mga pasahero, kailangan natanggalin at iwan ang life vest sa upuan kung saan ka nakaupo. Mangyari, kung may life vest na vacant sa upuan, means may pasahero hero na hindi nakabalik sa oras at naiwan sa isla. O, paulit-ulit, Beshi. <laughs> Unlimited! While on board, we going to the Wang Tai Liao Sandbar. There is a tourist guide host on the boat explaining the history of Chico District, how colorful the lifestyle of the local people, and how they managed to raise an oyster from the lagoon, and the history origin of the sandbars around Chico District, and how the tourism affect their daily life. The Wang Tai Liao Trail is about 540 meters long and 3 meters wide. The overall slope is less than 1 is to 20 and it can accommodate wheelchairs to go one way.
The sandbars at Chico all have their characteristics, but only Wang Tai Liao Shan has a circular accessible trail allowing all visitors to be close to the sandbar in the easiest way. In fact, there are six sandbars within the Taichung National Park. From a bird's eye view, you can see there are several slender sandbars lined up off the Taichung Open Sea. From north to south, they are Qingshang Kang Sandbar, Wang Tai Liao Sandbar, Ting Tuo Sandbar, Chen Fu Lun Sandbar, Qingwen Estuary Sandbar, and Tainan City West Coastal Sandbar. Among them, Wang Tai Liao Shan is an off land sandbar. Currently, four terminals, including Hai Liao Wharf, Nan Liao Wharf, Liu Kong Wharf, and Longshan Wharf have recreational rubber boats operated by private operators carrying visitors to the sandbar for sightseeing. Fact guys, the water form between the sandbar and the land is called the lagoon because the sandbar blocks the wind and waves of the open sea, the calm lagoon is also called the inner sea. But the lagoon is still affected by the tides, making it a place with a special environment. Fishermen makes good use of this innate advantage to raise oysters and fish here, forming a unique landscape in southwest Taiwan. Besides the sandbar landscape that is worth exploring, if you want to get a glimpse of it, you must first take a powered rubber boat and pass through the thousands of oyster sheds all over the lagoon. The more difficult it is to get close to, the more curious it is. The National Park headquarters has built a complete round-the-island trail on the sandbar. Although it is only 500 meters long because of its special location, you can stand on a floating sandy ground to listen to the waves and encounter large groups of monk crabs in the afternoon, which indeed is a rare experience to happen.
the big and small monk crab figures on the platform of the Wang Tai Liao Sandbar Trail is everyone's favorite to take a photo with. Wang Tai Liao Shan is a narrow sandbar laying in the north-south direction. The widest part is about 40 meters and is a slim mini deserted island. In the middle of the sandbar is a windbreak forest dominated by beef wood. This drought and salt tolerant tree was planted during the Japanese occupation period and was introduced by the Japanese from the south for afforestation. However, to achieve biodiversity, in addition to beef wood, the forestry unit also restored other native Taiwanese tree species such as Ponga oil tree, common cerebros tree, Indian almond, ear leaf acacia, Taiwan golden rain tree, and jambolan tree. Dagat na siya, Meshi! Wow! Ito si Dagat! Dagat na talaga siya, oh my god! Edi, kayo na may kahawakan ng kamay. Kanina pa kayo nananadya kayo ha. The ecology of the lagoon, the sandbar landscape, and the boundless blue sky lined with the 400-year history of Taijiang's development, making Taijiang the most exciting stage on the west coast of Taiwan. Stepping onto the trails of Wang Tai Liao Shan, you not only will take a part in this historical drama, but also witness the insignificance of human beings in the great environmental changes. Mictiris brividactylus or soldier wow. crab and they call it a monk crab because of the rounded back shell they move forwardly instead of horizontally. I will put all the link on the description box below all the related articles about Wang Tai Liao Sandbar Trail. For you guys as a reference if you are planning to visit the island. Ah, 
that's all for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this island trip don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give me thumbs up and leave the comment below hit the notification bell for you to be updated every time i have a new videos see you guys in my next one taijian <laughs> Ah,